And welcome back to the hot lap. We have more fallout on Lewis Hamilton going to Ferrari. This is Toto Wolf talking to Sky. It's only for a few, well, a few seconds, less than a minute, I think. But it's quite interesting what he says. Then we can do conjecture and uh, and uh, well, essentially see. But here we go. We we signed the contract with uh, Lewis. We opted for um, shorter term and. Um, so the events are not a surprise, maybe the timing. So what happened is that we we uh, got together um, for coffee in my place in Oxford and uh, him returning, um, basically mm. him returning to the factory. And uh, he said to me that he has decided to race for Ferrari in 2025. And... I mean, I, I mean, a lot of people are suggesting that one of the reasons why he's decided that, and we'll get, um, maybe Toto Wolf mentions it as well, is because, one, he potentially wanted a longer-term contract. The other suggestion is he wanted to be an ambassador for Mercedes after he retired and have a contract there, which the, not Toto, but the head of the board's, chairman of the board of the boss Mercedes was basically like, no, they didn't want to do that. And... It'd be interesting to see further down the line whether, because um, Toto doesn't mention here whether Hamilton thinks he's not, com but he, whether he Hamilton believes that Mercedes is not competitive. But let's carry on. That was that was basically it, and we had a good hour of conversation, um, and uh, yeah, th th this is where we are. Okay, so I mean, no massive bombshell there from from Toto Wolf, um, but Mark Hughes from the um mark Hughes from the race does sort of i mean he's got a theory here which which you know maybe like it issues as to as to why maybe this has happened mark Hughes theory for why hamilton was lost to mercedes he's been listening to toto wolf talk about hamilton's departure at the end of the 24 season and has given us a bit more background allowing us to delve deeper please do the race he said it's now clear that ferrari was able to offer hamilton as we just suggested a longer term commitment than Mercedes, the, the Mercedes, which uh, which agreed a two year deal with the second year as an option plus one. We're we're big boys, said Wolf. We knew that signing a short term contract could be of benefit for both sides. We couldn't commit for a longer period. We knew it could be a year. It could be two. We shared the opinion when we decided to sign a sort a short term contract that there may be opportunities for him and for us, and therefore maybe also. One of the considerations was the opportunity to sign a longer-term contract with Ferrari. Give it a really big go at the end of his career. And now, the racer said, couple this with Wolf's response about who might replace Hamilton. He said, I'm really looking forward to taking the right decisions for the team, together with my colleagues, in who is going to be, in, who's going to be in the seat next year. You know, maybe there's, there is a chance to do something bold. That something bold here would not be any of the existing F1 drivers to be set out of contract. We've got Sainz, Alonso, Albon being the obvious safe candidates. But it might well be, as his name's been mentioned, we mentioned it yesterday as well, Kimi Antonelli, or Andrea Kimi Antonelli, just 17 years of age, yet to make his Formula 2 debut. But you imagine he wins in Formula 2. Someone else did something that winning in Formula 2 went straight in and nearly won a championship, and that was Lewis Hamilton, although he was a few years older at the time. So let's just suppose that when Wolf and Hamilton were discussing their contract, Wolf revealed that the long term plan was to replace Antonelli at Williams for a year or two, then if it went well, to bring him to the main team, Mark Hughes says. Now, as a way of preach proofing, Hamilton's one plus one would dovetail in this nicely. We don't know if Wolf did discuss this scenario, of course, but he and Hamilton are close, which um, is suggesting that they've obviously, we know they've achieved a lot together, and it would be it would be quite in character to have such an open discussion, the race is saying. And also imagine that Hamilton's thought process may have been, if he indeed received that information from his boss and friend, it would have been totally logical, they're saying, that he pondered, well, I, I may well leave after year one, as that's my final chance of the Ferrari gig, and there may not be anything for me in 2026, which potentially is a reason they're suggesting, and it makes sense why he signed for Ferrari. Um, that would have been a perfectly logical platform, it says, for Hamilton to open 
or deeper discussions with Ferrari. And they've gone on to say, when we interviewed him in Abu Dhabi at the end of last season, I asked the prospect of him bouncing back into winning with Mercedes was as exciting as joining Mercedes from McLaren had been. Um, and his answer was illuminating, the race said. He said, when I moved, there was an excitement. We expected it to be difficult to start off with. And this is his move from McLaren to Mercedes. Um, it's, that's what he's talking about. And they're comparing it to Mercedes now and their chance to win. So he said, we expected it to be difficult to start off with because they hadn't had a lot of success. There was just raw excitement. A new person on the team getting into the nitty gritty with everyone and building relationships. Uh, that was a different kind of excitement. This time, we have known each other for years. He also lamented that it's a lot of pressure being scrutinised all the time, and I'm in a place in my life where there's no way I can win. If I win a race, it's, oh yeah, seven-time champion, 103 wins. If I don't do well, it's a big deal. I can only lose at this point in my life. Unless, of course, he changes the picture, picture dramatically, they've said, and opts to take on a massive new challenge, which Lewis Hamilton has done so and there's a uh, an article there after how, how obviously hamilton did it but we know now that it was like the day before he mentioned it and mercedes knew they were taking a risk they took the risk they gambled potentially they've lost but is it going to be hamilton that's going to lose going to ferrari where mercedes you know it's going to be who gets those new regulations right is it going to be red bull even mclaren mercedes or Ferrari are the most likely ones, maybe with Aston Martin not too far behind. But that appears to be the big gamble here, and uh, that's what's really that's what's really interesting and interesting about Toto Wolff's Toto Wolff's reaction to it. Um, so I guess he understands he is going to be. Uh, I imagine inside. I mean, this is just PR speak. A lot of it. He's going to be a bit heartbroken and maybe even betrayed, as well as the whole factory for Mercedes. And then we're going to get in the you know in in the maze of if him and George Russell are doing well fighting for the championship who are they going to back you'd normally back George Russell but Lewis has got all the experience um if they're really even I mean if Hamilton is far really far ahead challenging Verstappen it, it, yeah they're going to go with Hamilton aren't they but when when it's really close with those 50 50 scenarios who they're going to go with because George will be the man for 2025 in in, in Mercedes so and who's going to be George's teammate? I still think, I don't think it will be Kimi Anton unless he absolutely does a Verstappen 2023, but in Formula 2, then I think Mercedes may have no option but to do it in case another person, in case someone like Red Bull, you know, brings him up. Um, so that's going to be quite interesting going into the 24 season. It's funny, isn't it? Coming off one of, arguably one of the most boring seasons in terms of uh, races at the front, We've now all had this sensational news all in January. It's it's really exciting. Um, yeah, so anyway, that was uh, Toto Wolf on Lewis Hamilton. And we've discussed a bit of the fallout and why he may have gone to Ferrari. Thanks for the races article. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Comment below. If you do want just one of them, that's great. If you do too, you're a multiple world champion in our eyes. Thank you very much and speak to you soon.